All right, I got an interesting experiment to show, or something to show you guys that relates to the crystal glue cell in comparison to the magnesium chloride glue cell. Um, but not, really, but there will be no glue cells here, but it will be demonstrating the water content. What I did is I picked up this moisture meter from General off Amazon.com. Uh, it pretty much what it does, it doesn't really measure moisture content. What it does is it measures resistance of the materials. So it measures resistance between those two probes there. And this is what this video is about. So it relates um, resistance to moisture content. So we turn it on. Alright, so it's on. <clears throat> so I got a plastic tray here. You can see I'm getting zero because it's plastic. Yep, zero. Zero percent. Okay, so here's my control right here. Is a piece of paper. All these are uh, papers. There's a uh, paper right there that has a crystal glue cell mix in it. It's having salt, salt substitute uh, added to water, and the paper was stuck in the water, and the paper was allowed to dry overnight. And this over here is the same thing, but it's it's uh, magnesium chloride in water. The paper's set in there, and took it out of the dryer overnight too. And this one right here, this is regular old water. Put the paper in there, then I let it dry. So that's also a control, but it's a wet control. But it's, it's dry now. It, it, it all these dried overnight. So, but here's the real control. Yours is never wet, and we're gonna get the. Um, if I can do this. All right. The control is uh, six point three percent. So that was uh, this paper right there. So we'll clear that out. <clears throat> Get the reading on the paper that was just in the water and no salts added to it. See what its reading is. Get it. So it's at 6%. So I'm going to do another reading on it. People probably, probably like to have more than one reading, but. And again, I'm. 6.1%. Again, I'm using a, a plastic bottom, so because the probes are very sharp and they poke through things, but it's plastic, so it's not conductive. And one more reading on it. And 6.1%. Do one more reading on the control. 6%. So the these two are pretty much the same. So we're going to clear that out. Now we're going to bring in the uh, <clears throat> the crystal glue cell mix, which is this one, and this is the one I use. And uh, theory is that the salt substitute and magnesium, I mean the Epsom star, are combining to make magnesium chloride, which is very it absorbs water out of the air like crazy. So that's the theory behind it. So it should be very it should be very resistive. I mean not very it should be less resistive than the uh, control. So we'll do our reading on it, and it's at 10.4%. So the other ones were around 6%. This was at 10.4. And we'll do another reading. Ten point six percent, and do one more reading just for you know scientific method way, and also 10.6. All right. So it's 4% more water content, or 4% less resistance compared to the meter here. So we're going to put that up, and we're going to bring in the, the paper that had the magnesium chloride. Was put Magnesium chloride salts added to the water. Paper was put in the water, then it was allowed to dry overnight. We're going to see what it's at. And we're going to take a reading of it. You can hear the beeping because it's more it contains a lot more water. So this one's at 23.6%, so there's a lot more water in this. Another reading on it, clear that out. Yeah, it's got a lot more water, 25%. Water there. One more reading. Wow, 28%. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can get this. Let me see if I can get this.
So yeah, there's 27 percent. Um, so yeah, this clearly has a lot more water in it. That was like 28 percent, 27 percent. While the crystal glue cell mix only had 10 percent. They only have four percent more than the control, which had just regular old water added to it. Then it was allowed to dry, and we took the reading on it. And that had about the same amount as the control here that never had water on it. So, I mean, it is very interesting. About 6.4 there. And the crystal glue cell mix. I can get this all in one shot. About 10.3. Almost 11%. And there's 9. So it's very interesting to see that in perspective. Again, this only measures, like I said, it only measures resistance. It doesn't actually measure water content. But it is a good uh, indication of how they compare to each other. So you really can't say, I mean, the crystal glue cell mix is no more, has only a little bit more water content in it than this in, but it has a whole lot less, like half, even, even less than half than the magnesium chloride one that had the yeah, magnesium chloride water one. So you can't clearly say that the crystal, crystal glue cell mix is making um, water or pulling water out of the air. It's just not, the data is not really showing it just yet. But but yeah, it is a very interesting test that I did perform here. Uh, maybe this will help others to see or, or give a good demonstration to others on how you can test the water content of your cells. So yeah, there you go.